Welcome to Supernatural Saturdays here on the Bald Brad Show. And once again, we're looking at five scary things caught on camera from Nuke's top five. Folks, a lot of people are really enjoying Supernatural Saturdays. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Top five scary things caught on camera. Scary people. Dumpster diving. So if you're not familiar with dumpster diving, which probably includes most of the people who are not in the US, it's basically <laughs> scrounging through garbage dumpsters, usually behind department stores or businesses, to find valuable things or items that have been thrown out. Well, in this video, these guys aren't so successful in their dumpster dive. First off, they find some expired baby food which one of them actually eats. <laughs> Jelly said he saw like an apple and pear one or something like that. Give me yeah, an right apple there, and pear. Here. What is that? Squash? Yeah, I'll take squash. Really squash? Yeah, let me get squash. I like Dude, squash. Grab one of them drinks. Let me get it. There yeah, we go. Grab one of them drinks right there. Alright. I mean, it is sealed. Oh. But... Oh. No. In the mouth? No, no, no. We gotta see it in the mouth. That's not bad. <laughs> Here, wash it down, this stuff is good. And later that night, they find a very unexpected surprise in one of the dumpsters. No, 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 no. It's moved in there, guys. Guys, guys, guys. It's moved in there. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. It's moved inside of that dumpster. There is something underneath of that box. I'm not going over there. You look at it. I'm not going over there. Box? That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. Oh, hell no. 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 He's got to go. No, 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 no. Oh, hell no. Like, I live in California, folks. We see this stuff all the time. That's not scary. That's just a common occurrence. <laughs> I freaking cut my Dude, arm. Go. You better be. Oh, Dude, oh, I cut are you all right? What Dude, what the hell was, was that? that? Dude, oh, you, you gotta be hitting me, bro. The guys actually uncover a homeless man in the dumpster who angrily comes after them. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. Oh, hell no. Go, 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 go. Oh hell no! 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 He's gotta go! This is supposed to be scary, but it's just funny. Go, go, go! One of the guys gets a small cut on his arm, but otherwise they manage to escape unharmed. I'm the curtain. This video was actually a collaboration between two Estonian urban explorers, ET Explorers and more, and Exploring with Darknet. So this is one of those rare videos where we actually get to see the action from two different points of view. Anyway, these urban explorers were investigating an abandoned building that had served as a sauna until 1995. On the bottom floor, they find some equipment and a few dangerous open holes in the floor. Then they head up to the second floor and that's when things start to get a little creepy. At the end of the hallway, there is a white door with the odd phrase, Ghost Room, scrawled on it in marker. When they try to open the door, it won't budge, even though it's not locked. It's as if something is wedged against the door. Another homeless person. Is that locked? Is that locked? Is that locked? Is that locked?
Toca, un corte en cabeza. Vaya, se puede A ver, ¿tien? A ver, se puede ver. Uy, que me salta. O toca, no me corte, no sé, me mira, vaya. A ver, se puede ver, no sé, que es gripe. One of his friends warns the explorer who calls himself Darknet that he shouldn't continue. But Darknet doesn't listen, insisting on seeing what's behind the curtain. Ma pure che sono divani, se ne costano. Chiudi. Ah, dude. Why do I put myself through this? Jeez. I'm going to go. I'm going Creeping around the corner. Some Canadian urban explorers are checking out an abandoned insane asylum when they encounter something very unexpected. This is like the psych ward. This is where they kept the crazies. This is too much, man. I'm freaking out in here. I was coming from upstairs. Let's go see. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. It came from upstairs. It's up the stairs. Oh, guys. Go first, man. That's crazy. No. Because I want to get this on video. I want to get this on video, man. Did you did you watch the asylum? They filmed that same exact thing up here. Because this person is acting so bizarre, some people initially claimed that this was a creature, a cryptid, or something other than just a person making very strange noises. But if you look closely, this person is wearing shoes. So that's just a very skinny person moving in a very bizarre way. Hey, it doesn't matter. It's creepy as hell. Get out of there. Run. You know, I... Or just go up and kick it in the head. I mean, <laughs> that's messed up. I don't care if it's a person. It's still freaky deaky. Uh, uh, could this be a former patient? Is it some random disturbed person living in the abandoned building? Or is it all just a hoax? It's just California, folks. It's just Southern California. <laughs> you decide. Welcome to the neighborhood. 
This next video was sent to me directly by Cassie Lee 1991. So Cassie says that when she and her boyfriend first moved into their house, they went to sleep one night and woke up to find this creepy spectacle outside their home. Someone sprinkled rice all over her boyfriend's car and completely surrounded their house with it, as if drawing a circle around their home for some kind of ritual. It was also obvious that a candle had been burned on their sidewalk throughout the night. But that's not even the creepiest part of the stranger's nighttime activities. On their back doorstep, Cassie found another candle that also looked like it had been burned through the night. There was a wooden log, bottled water, a nectarine drink, an empty can of seltzer water which covered what looks like some freshly picked berries and flowers, and perhaps strangest of all, an empty dog food can with a spoon in it. Oh, and the welcome mat that all this stuff is laying on? Cassie says that it doesn't belong to them either. The person who left all these things also left the welcome mat that they are sitting on. Now keep in mind that all of this was done quietly overnight in the dark while they slept just a few feet away inside their home. Cassie says that their neighborhood is pretty quiet and peaceful and Nothing like this has happened before or since. So what do you think that this person was doing creeping around their house all night long while they slept? Why were they lighting candles and leaving strange objects? Now, personally, I've never seen anything like this. So if you have any idea what this is, please let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. If you'd like Probably just somebody cracked out on meth, which is why you had the dog food and the spoon there and the lighting of the candle, right? So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it deserved to be in spot number one, but there you go, folks. We had Nuke's top five. I'll leave the link in the description. Go over and show him some love. And, folks, if you are new to the Bald Brad Show and Supernatural Saturdays, I just want to be forthcoming. We are a conservative political commentary show Monday through Sunday, or should I say Sunday through Monday, realistically. Sunday through Monday. Where am I going with this? Sunday through Friday, we are a political commentary show. We give a conservative point of view on all news, sci-fi, stuff like that. So if you're not into that type of stuff, then, you know, hey, just enjoy Supernatural Saturdays. But again, that show is available at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day, Sunday through Friday, as well as follow-up shows, usually around 5 to 6 p.m. pacific standard time so that would be roughly eight or nine eastern standard time so folks with that being said as always show me some love by hitting that like and subscribe button sharing this link with your friends and family all over social media and i will see you here tomorrow for some political commentary on the bald brad show